After enjoying our Three Island Day, we're driving farther north. The drive's scenic, the roads are good, and the traffic's light. Ferries connect these islands with Scottish government subsidized fares, keeping island hopping inexpensive. Next up, the rugged Isle of Skye. Offering some of Scotland's best scenery, the Isle of Skye is understandably popular. Narrow, twisty roads wind around Skye in the shadows of craggy bald mountains, and the coastline is ruffled with peninsulas and sea locks or saltwater inlets. Skye, while Scotland's second biggest island, about a two hour drive from south to north, has only 13,000 residents. And it's been that way since the Highland Clearances back in the 1800s. That's when wealthy landlords decided sheep were better for their bottom line than people. Landless peasants were driven out, and to this day, the island's population is half what it used to be. While plenty of tour buses cover Skye, it's a great place to have your own wheels. The island is dotted with scenic roadside attractions. The Sligachan Bridge offers a classic sky view and a good reminder to stop the car and get out. The Coolin Mountains tower high above, and above the bridge looms the cone-shaped Glamag Hill. Around here, people really know how to have fun with nature. As a matter of fact, every summer there's a race from the bridge to the top of that mountain and back. Last year's winner, 44 minutes. If you know where to look, the island is strewn with the scant remains of past civilizations. Just a short hike from a handy parking lot is Skye's best preserved Iron Age Fort, Dunbeg. To get the most out of our Isle of Skye road trip, I'm joined by my friend and fellow tour guide, Cullen Mares. Exploring this prehistoric stone tower connects us with Skye's distant past. Judging from these stones, the tower once stood much taller. I love scrambling through ruined castles, and this one is particularly evocative. Well, people have been living on the Isle of Skye for thousands of years, and this place, if you imagine, it probably had a timber frame inside, three stories high. They would get in here, and under times of attack, they could gather in here, the community, men, women, children, and their domesticated animals, and we think this was built around about 2,000 years ago. 